Your heart is a muscle that works continuously, much like a pump. Each beat of your heart is set in motion by an electrical signal from the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node. The SA node is in the right atrium, one of the two upper chambers of your heart. The electrical signal spreads across the cells of your heart's right and left atria. This signal causes the atria to contract and pump blood through the open valves from the atria into both ventricles. The signal arrives at the atrial ventricular node, also known as the AV node, near the ventricles. Here it slows for an instant to allow your heart's right and left ventricles to fill with blood. The signal then moves along the bundle of Hiss, located in your heart's ventricles. From the bundle of Hiss, the signal fibers divide into left and right bundle branches, which run through your heart's septum. The signal leaves the left and right bundle branches through the Purkinje fibers that connect directly to the cells of the walls of your heart's ventricles. The signal spreads quickly across your heart's ventricles. As the signal spreads across the cells of the ventricle walls, both ventricles contract, pushing blood through the pulmonary valve to your lungs and through the aortic valve to the rest of your body. As the signal passes, the walls of your heart's ventricles relax and wait for the next signal. Ventricular fibrillation, also known as V-fib, happens when electrical signals in the ventricles become very rapid and chaotic. As a result, the ventricles quiver and are not able to pump blood to the lungs and the rest of the body. V-fib can happen during or after a heart attack or in a heart that is damaged from another condition. Because the heart is not able to pump blood when it's in V-fib, sudden cardiac death is often a result unless a person gets emergency medical care right away. In patients with ventricular fibrillation, treatment involves medical therapy and often an implantable defibrillator.